This giggling mess in front of me here is the driver of this car. He doesn't even want to show his face. Yes. Um, unfortunately, I found that the Commodores are even more of a pile of ass at birth than I thought they were. The cheap bastards have turned the plastic tanks on the radiator into condenser support. So it's going to make it more fun getting the radiator out without degas and the aircon, which I assume is doable, but I haven't done one of these before, and I'm just like, you fuckers, as soon as I saw that. So I've got to reach in, and the, the clip at the bottom is what actually holds it in. So I've got to reach through the bar and unclip it and lift it up and swear at it a bit without degassing it. Damn thing. Oh, I've got the radiator changed in it. It's like playing with the bloody Legos. Everything just clicks together, which is kind of sucks. Whatever happened to nuts and bolts? Damn cheap bastards. So, just filling it now. Please make sure you take out a little bleeder on these when you fill these engines. Just make sure you get all the air out. The top hose is almost a little higher than the filler. So, just got to make sure it bleeds. Take your time filling it, don't rush it. Unless you've got the thermostat out, then you can really fill it fast. This ain't full yet. Oh, that's done. I sort of ran out of battery as I was feeling it, but yeah, give it a quick charge and off we go again. Oh, well, enough of Commodore rubbish. We don't want to know about Commodores, do we? Next on my list of things is this nice old Toyota Ute with the two L diesel in it. And it sounds awful. Like, awful. Um, Commodore's running now. But yeah. I think the timing's way too advanced or something. Damn Commodore drivers. Well, I'm in that diesel ute at the moment. It smells a bit mouldy in here. I've got to move it so the Commodore can get out. That's fuel pump. Priming pump. Let's see if I can get it started, which is normally pretty tricky. Like, it don't sound good. That is loud. I've got to find reverse in this wretched thing. I think it's down there. The gearbox feels like a sponge. There we
Oh, here's the engine and some light. But yeah, there's something up with this. It makes that van engine, which is the same, when it ran out of oil, look like it's new. It sounds like it's new. Like this thing. Chronic. Something chronically wrong with it. But probably something simple or it's going to die. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to sort that out. That's why I got it. Uh, I couldn't sort it out. And handballed it to me. Now yeah, let's see what happens. Always try these tests in the fourth gear or whatever you can manage. Just in case the engine goes run away on you. <laughs> you just dump the clutch. for one's pump. So don't use biofuel. If you do, you're a dick. <laughs> 